Hear them, they're calling the skeletons in my closet. I think I sound a heck of a lot like Wednesday 13. How are you guys doing? I'm Chris Norwood on a journey to hear every song ever. And today we're going to be ranking the studio albums by fellow weirdo Wednesday 13. Um, I think, uh, let's just jump right into this. So, if you aren't familiar, most people probably are not, um, Wednesday 13 was a member of the Murder Dolls, which was sort of a Slipknot side project. Uh, Joseph Michael Poole uh, was born on August 12, 1976, and I actually met him um, at a horror convention in Georgia some years back, and I picked up a couple of Murder Doll CDs and... Um, or a Murder Doll CD and some other merchandise from him. And me and my friend uh, just hung out with him for the day. And he was a really super cool guy, really down to earth. Uh, he's from one state over from me. And uh, I've been a fan ever since. That was a really cool way to uh, be introduced to someone's music career by just meeting him in person and uh, sitting and chit chatting with him about his family in North Carolina. Um, he's also known as Joe Nothing, Audrey Three, and Buck Bourbon. He's 44 years old. Uh, he's about nine years older than me, but he's a horror punk icon. And we're just going to jump into the albums. That's what you guys are here for. for. That's what you're here for. Okay. Coming in first and worst, as always, that's how we do it. We start with the worst and work our way up to the best. You know how, you guys know how this works. Calling All Corpses is going to be my least favorite. Now, it's not bad. It's not a bad record by any means. It came out in 2011. And um, just nothing on there. I think I do enjoy Something Wicked This Way Comes. It's a nice way to finish out an album, in my opinion. But it is the, the worst of his discography, if, uh, if you ask me. And you have, because you're here. Coming in next is going to be Necrophase. And uh, there's a party. Oh, <coughs> that hurts to do that. But bring your own blood. BYOB. Exclamation point. Now this one, I was not digging the flavor of this. I actually saw Wednesday 13 in concert a few years ago. It was a particularly wild show and a wild night. And um, I, I did not recognize him. I did not recognize the music. I, I wasn't sure what was happening. He had sort of went in a much, much heavier direction. And I, I was just, I was expecting the jokey uh, comedy horror that I had come to expect. And it was just a very, very different show. It was just a really dark, gothic, uh, crazy night. And I, I don't remember a lot of it. But uh, yeah, Necrophase, I just am not digging the grooves on this one. Uh, just not my thing. Ooh, wow! Coming in next is going to be Condolences. This one's getting a, a little bit more interesting than Calling All Corpses, corpses and Necrophase. But let's just see what we have on this Condolences. If it's even, it doesn't have a Wikipedia page. It's never a good sign when that happens. But yeah, these uh, these records are just the ones that I'm not really revisiting. And um, let's just see what's next. Monsters of the Universe come out and plague. Now, I actually do like the cover a lot. It's really cool. Um, it has, it's a little bit stereotypical, but it's a very good 2015 album. And there is an alternate cover for the vinyl, which is pretty cool as well. If you can see it on my garbage channel, my garbage camera. Um, let's see what we got here with Monsters of the Universe come out and plague. This one has some interesting stuff. There is a lot of material here. We've got 60 minutes of material. So if you are a Wednesday, Wednesday 13 fan, 
this has got just a lot of horror punk, a lot of heavy metal. <laughs> Guys, now we're into the good Wednesday 13 albums. In my opinion, these are the ones that really rock my socks off. Like, uh, like seriously, rocking my socks off. There's one sock. I'll give this one one sock for the Dixie Dead, the fifth album by Wednesday 13. It was released on February 19th, 2013. It's a little bit long too. It's 51 minutes and some seconds, six if you care. And this one has some really great material on it. Ooh, some good titles. Oh, the one that I like is F U in memory of. That's four minutes and 33 seconds of pure rock and roll bliss right there on Dixie Dead. Let's move on to the top three Wednesday 13 albums, shall we? Coming in next is going to be Fang Bang. Really like the cover of this one too. Really my kind of style with this one. Very much getting some Green Day vibes from this. Uh, more than words, American War, Wolves in London. Uh, but what is it? Haddonfield. That's the highlight of this record. Haddonfield and uh, the bonus tracks are amazing. R-E-M-O-N-E-S Ramones! A Motorhead cover. Not a Ramones cover. The Ramones covered Motorhead. And then Wednesday 13 covered Motorhead. Wait, covered the Ramones who covered Motorhead. Who covered themselves with death. Coming in in second place. The second best uh, Wednesday 13 album is going to be Transylvania 90210 Songs of Death, Dying and Dead. Yeah! With, uh, let's see. I walk with a zombie! Oh, I can do that voice. Bad Things! Which he later re revisited. Um, the title track's okay. Buried by Christmas! Elect Death for President. The Ghost of Vincent Price. And more. Are all pretty darn good. And Wednesday 13 did a lot on this record. He played every instrument. Except for drums, it looks like. And, um, yeah, just a very interesting album. Um, a lot of stuff to enjoy with uh, Transylvania 90210. Songs of Death, Dying, and the Dead. Are you guys ready to see which album rocks my left sock off? Landed in my dog's water bowl. That's amazing. I'm a liar. It didn't. It almost did, but it didn't. Yeah! Oh, man. This is going to get zero views. I don't know why I'm even trying. Maybe I'll get like the niche. Maybe I'll get like the horror punk niche, uh, which could work for my Green Day themed, uh, mostly Green Day themed videos at this point. Less. Please like and subscribe. The greatest Wednesday 13 album, record, CD, vinyl, cassette, eight track ever is going to be. What's your favorite when Wednesday 13 album? Or when Wednesday 13? My favorite Wednesday 13 album is gonna have to be, without a doubt. You know, Trans was great, but this one's better. Skeletons in my closet! The only thing that's even real! Released May 20th, 2008. Horror punk, heavy metal. Gothic metal. 40 minutes, 16 seconds. DR2, United Kingdom. Produced? Self-produced. Um, 
let's see what it is that makes this my favorite Wednesday 13 album. Um, put your death mask on. That's kind of relevant today. Skeletons, My Demise, and um, yeah, just those two songs alone out of these uh, these 11 tracks just make it amazing. Wednesday 13 is on vocals and guitars here with uh, Nate Hate Manor on bass, Ratchy Shea on drums, and Jamie Hoover on piano, slide guitars on All American Masters. Massacres. Massacres. If you liked this video, please subscribe because I'm doing a lot of content related to these kind of guys. I'm a big Slipknot fan. Um, Stone Sour, Murder Dolls, Wednesday 13. Um, I love all kinds of music. I'm a big Green Day nerd, System of a Down geek, and um, just music weirdo that's having a stuttering problem tonight for some reason. But uh, yeah, just subscribe and tell everyone on the planet that you know to subscribe. I'm uh, pushing closer to 40 subscribers. And uh, Wednesday 13 is awesome. Like I said, I hung out with them in Georgia once. And that's kind of one of my biggest claims to fame. Uh, there was like the kid from the original Chucky there as well that nobody wanted to talk to. I did talk to him. And the guy that played Leatherface in 2003 I met him and Sid Haig in the same place, and Bill Mosley. I actually got to chit chat with them, um, and it was just a really fun night. Looking back, you know, gosh, 17 years later, uh, but Wednesday 13 was the one that I, I spent pretty much the day with him, and uh, just sitting at his booth. It wasn't real busy, and uh, I bought Beyond the Valley of the Murder Dolls. That got me into that movie. It got me into that music. And, um, you know, I am not your average horror uh, punk guy, but I am a punk guy. You just can't tell. Uh, but, you know, those are the most punk people, are the people that don't conform to the punk rock image. It's more punk rock not to be punk rock than it is to be punk rock. If you are punk rock, you're not punk rock. But if you're not punk rock, then you are punk rock. But then if you are, you're not. But if you're not, you are. And that just, um, I, you know, yeah, subscribe. You guys want to watch me drink coffee? I ran out of my uh, father of all dark roasts. This is just like uh, cheap coffee. And cheap creamer. Please subscribe. I'm tired of working retail. Please subscribe. I want to drink Rockstar coffee instead of Great Value coffee. Please subscribe. This mug was given to me by a coworker at my second job. Please subscribe.